Okay, here I'm going to focus on chemist seed basics. Let me see just a general seed pictured here, where we have the seed coat, which is the outer shell. The embryo contains the hypocotyl, the radical, and the cotyledons. So let's look specifically at um, cannabis seeds. Well, seeds in general, whether it's a cannabis or a tomato or a pepper seed, all contain living but dormant organism. So this is important to remember that there, in that seed is a living organism. And as the organism uh, dies, that will reduce the germination rate of a lot of seeds. Now, the DNA is also present in these uh, seeds, which will determine the characteristics of the plant. In selecting the proper seed, or really more appropriate term, the proper genetics to match the growing conditions is important. Items to consider are whether you're growing indoors or outdoors, looking for THC or CBD production. Keep in mind, this course is focusing on hemp plants, so CBD production would be one area uh, would be focused on much more than THC content. Mature seeds have a dark coloration that are hard, and they tend to be dark coloration hard outer shell. These tend to be the most mature and have the greatest chance for germination. If we look at this kind of lot seeds here, this kind of compilation of seeds, we'll know some are kind of white, some are green. Uh, these colorations also indicate that these tend to be softer seeds to the touch. And these indicate immature seeds. These will have poor germination rates than the harder outer shell that's typically shown with this darker coloration here. The darker coloration will have a greater germination rate than the immature seeds. Now, developing a comparison between our mature and immature seeds, mature seeds should be full and uniform as we see here. Give them a drop and listen for a thud. If you hear a hollow sound like these seeds would give, this is a sign of immature seeds. So you see the comparison of these two um, with the dime there for size orientation. You can see that these are very consistent, tend to be darker colorations, tend to be more consistent, larger size. These will likely have a much better germination rate than these immature seeds here. Seed anatomy, we have the seed coat. As I mentioned, that's that protective outer covering. We have cotyledons and cannabis is a dicot. These are the seed leaves and these will be the first ones to appear once the seed emerges. The hypocotyl, located right here, is the area of the stem above the roots and soil line, and also the uh, cotyledon leaves. The radical is the initial root that is produced from the seed. So we talk about emergence, that's the seed actually plant breaking through the surface. Germination is typically marked by this radical protruding through the seed coat there. It would be like a little tail that you would notice. Proper seed storage. While controlling the environment the seed is stored will help increase germination percentages over time key is consistency, as if there's rapid fluctuations and changes, this can decrease seed vitality. However, even under ideal conditions, germination rates will decrease with the age of the seed. Uh, uh, growing conditions, the goal to try to maintain is humidity under 10%, temperature from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 0 degrees Fahrenheit, and light, minimal light, if any, exposure. I want to keep the seeds typically in the dark or in an area that is not having a lot of consistent or very bright light exposure. Seeds should be kept in some form of label package uh, in an environment that is cool and dark. This could be like a refrigerator, a freezer, even a sock drawer in some cases. Most seeds will last about five years if stored properly. You want to be sure to keep seeds away from moisture. And if this is a concern uh, as a preventive when you're storing your seeds, you want to choose an airtight container. And these little silica gel packets can be advised to be included to help pull some of that moisture out. And labeling those, pack those seeds are very important because you can see these could easily get mixed up. So keeping them labeled, keeping them uh, sealed allows for reduction in the chance of misaligning uh, different seeds and ensuring you're growing what you think you're growing. Lastly, canning jars offer an excellent for seed storage. These are airtight. They can hold many seeds in different containers. They fit easily in a freezer or other locations. They also prevent unwanted interactions. So I give the example of the mice here eating seeds. You just keep a seed in like an envelope or something. When it gets cold out, mice can be uh, voracious eaters and get into all sorts of things and easily chew through paper or even sometimes plastic containers. Mason jars here are sealed, glass, airtight, will prevent any unwanted feeding on your seeds.